Hey, buddies. I don't have any. So basically, Little Big Planet is a fun game about it, uh, creating stuff and playing story mode. Well, when I used to have a PS3, I had an account named GMC Dizzle 41. Now I have a PS4. How about we go play some levels on here? My most, my favorite one, also made by a fellow friend named Defender12, who I gave a shout out. Spooky scary skeletons. You're basically going through a, a some type of oh, gigs. You're basically going through some type of wooden world. Oh yeah, that's right. Defender or twelve sometimes adds stuff. I don't. I don't care. Anyways, you're going for a wonderful wooden world. Most of the materials I used were obviously wood. Some of them were stone. And some were sponge. Anyways, this is a two-player area. Man, it's hard to stand like that. I'm gonna have to take... Alright. Break done. Out. Ah! Dang. Whoa, 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 whoa! No, don't chase me! You know, I really feel proud about this level. This one was my best. No, not R1. Defender 12 also added a few easter eggs. This medium molecule badge was one of them. So was the previously mentioned spooky scary skeletons. Now this is when it gets real. You meet this guy named Swab Sam, and he asked if you could find his son Cotton Cody. I guess he's adopted because we don't see any wife. And this is a brain crane section. I would have done it. My move controller is, t is still charging. You finally find Cotton Cody on the top of the house. He uh, complains that the mosquitoes up there are biting his arm. I r that was just the excuse to put his arms in a wacky fashion. But anyways, done. Plot twist. The whole entire f or f f the whole entire roof collapses. Isn't it? I don't really... I don't think that this is really working. I just need to jump through and crawl through. Oh, yeah, also, I edited some of the story characters from the first game and made them um, look kind of funny. Kind of like what they did in Use Asylum and later in Newton's Laboratory in the, in the first, in the second and third game. This is my room. My dad was looking for me. He can't get around the house. The scoreboard is over there. Nice. Shout out to Trilobite. Bite being B-Y-T-E. Fossil. And I really don't know what's happening here. Oh well. So, this could lead to a sequel where they're basically in the ocean and must find the Temple of Wood. Me and Defender12 were talking about it. That was the wood series, so now let's go to something different. What the? Hold on. And now here's a glitch gallery.
one of the best musics in Little Big Planet are, is playing in the background, Steampunked. And this is basically just me showing off a few glitches. A tracto gel. I never really used that. Oh my god, this room is filled to the brim with glitches. The end. With energy, this would actually be complete. Thank god energy is playing. Energy was made by the Apples in Studio or something like that. Anyways, and then there is this de-physicalized wall, despite- oh, dang it. Used with the other method of de-physicalizing, and ta-da! And then, there's a sequel! But this time I actually give out of them. That is, if I could reach this- Why am I stuck in one layer? Oh well. It's a nice sequel, I guess. Many of the stuff I now give away. <laughs> oh man. I never seen tweakable lasers in a long time. And now, a day in the life of Squidward Tentacles, the blank unnamed adventure. Yes, build up my pretty ba- This one is rather out of place. It's one called Rhino Wheel Bolt, and it's just me showing off a contraption. Holding a tablet and playing the hardest two things ever. Anyways, you grab this, and basically, this wheel boat does the rest. When it gets in the water, the wheels dissolve, and it turns into a speed boat. However, it's as strong as a rhino. Hence the name, Rhino Wheel Boat. It actually took me quite a while to make this. But anyways, soon it ends up breaking. Or it doesn't. And then... Yay, I mastered the Wheel Beast. Will the Beast the Wheel Beast. Oh, this one was a boss level called Ember Arms. You basically have to defeat a guard named Ember Arms. Oh my god! Phew! That one gave the Tao Hao bosses a run for their money. But the hardest part is riding the paint- I mean, water elevator. Phew! We made it. And then we got my Halloween special, which was a Mr. Key fan level. I love Mr. Key. He's the best character in all of the community. Oh my god, Mr. Key is dead! Complete with zombie loot. And then there's a kill level that's so bad I'm not even gonna show it. Besides, the icon will just make Palm sue me. And then there's my evil s oh, And then there's my evil and stupid e and then there's my other PS4 free account, which thankfully died. It's more evil and more stupid, and it's called Kudos 900. It basically consists of SpongeBob levels. Most of them being about them die are about them dying, even though I actually really love SpongeBob. Until Kill Dora came along. This one is so stupid that I'm going. These this account is so stupid that I'm just going to show you only a few levels. Maybe one, depending on the time limit. Oh wait, I think this was the best one yet. Dora's just one head. Feed him to that plant thing, monster thing from that desert planet from Star Wars. I'm not a Star Wars nerd. Freeze her into carbonite. Yes, yes. Mmm, jelly bean Dora. Yum. I love rocks. Don't trust ice cream. The classic hangman one. Dora's tongue is going to get pulled out. Early English torture. That saw blade has many tags. Anyways, and then there's my personal favorite. Oh, oh no. Dora guesses the riddle wrong. 
there's still the log. Dora begs for mercy, but no. And this is good old Noomi.